If I were a gambler, I would bet most of you spend more time scrolling through streaming content than actually viewing it. I would also bet that when you do decide to watch something, it's either The Office, Friends, or Family Guy for the 10 millionth time. Do yourself a favor and download the free Topflix app on the App Store. Topflix is a free content discovery app that uses personalized insights to cater to your taste and interests to help you discover new content. Explore and track curated watch lists developed by the tastemakers at Topflix. In addition to content discovery, this app includes a never-ending library of all upcoming trailers organized by month and year, a daily updated stream of entertainment news, and much more. Seriously, if you like all things entertainment, you really need to download Topflix. Now, let's get right into the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Up and Adam Show. I'm your host, Adam Lupus. Before we get started today, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, Mike from Hardcore Italians. Thank you so much, Mike, for the sweater. Uh, guys, if you haven't already checked out Hardcore Italians on Instagram, I'll put the link down below. And uh, for all the best Italian merchandise out there and for the best Italian content. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce my guest. Uh, you've seen him uh, growing up watching him on YTV and he now works for ET Canada. Please welcome Carlos Bustamante. How's it going, Carlos? I'm good, brother. How are you, man? I'm doing good. Thanks so much for being a part of the show today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. I think this is really cool that you're doing this. How long have you been doing this show for? I've been, uh, I started back in April, uh, right when the pandemic yeah. started. And um, so actually, it's funny. So I was a barber before this. And uh, I used to love talking to people. I was cutting their hair, right? That was the main thing is talking to people, right? So um, when the pandemic happened, I, I quit barbering. I just thought it wasn't for me anymore. But I'm like, you know what? I do love talking to people still. And I, I was, I'm a very big lover of the 80s and 90s pop culture. And um, I know for me, I, I'm a very young guy. I'm 21. So it's kind of odd to see that at my age, but uh, something that I really grew up loving and stuff. So I, um, I took my passions and my interests towards a podcast, something different. And yes. I made it kind of have that Johnny Carson feel instead of just a very normal podcast, if that makes sense. I dig that. I, hey, listen, that's, I don't think that's out of the ordinary. I'm like you in that way. I, use, I love... Uh, I guess, for lack of a better term, retro stuff or stuff that came a bit before my time. And a lot of my friends are the same way too. And on the barber tip, I haven't seen a barber in, I guess, since March, obviously, because of COVID. Yeah. I'm going to need some of your barbering tips because I've been trying to do this on my own. And it's, I mean, it's up and down, buddy. I got to tell you, some it's, days. Listen, hey, I was a barber. I can't even do my own beard. My beard's been a mess for months. <laughs> I don't trust myself doing my own beard or my own hair, so... I, I just get my friend to do it for me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard, man. Like, and, and it's funny. You know what? Speaking of barbering too, like when I have people that used to come in that were, would cut their own hair, it's like, I feel like they're not even trying sometimes. It's just, it, it's, like a, it's like a bowl. Literally, they go up one here and they leave it. It's like, what are you doing? Your, your hair looks pretty good though. Get the back. Ah, thanks. Well, nobody sees the back. That's the key. You just all we got. We got. I never do an interview backwards like that. Yeah, yeah and if so if anybody wa like if anybody walking by you, you just go like this. Make sure that they're always facing you. That's it. That's you it. know. You know the yeah. game. Yeah. Um. So Carlos, so so how have things been though? So like I, I see you working on ET Canada now. It's pretty awesome. Yes, it's great, man. So what when Where, you um, doing that? It's been a few years now. I want to say it's been about three years um, since I've been there full time. And it's been cool, man. It was a cool transition to get into that gig. Uh, I feel very lucky to be able to get it. And um, yeah, I mean, the team is phenomenal. I think we do really good work and it's a fun gig. Yeah, you know, it's crazy because um, I remember watching on YTV, right? And, uh, and then I, when, I saw you, when I saw your Instagram page and I saw you working for ETCAN, I was like, holy, I'm like, this guy, you know, the, the, you know, doing that next phase in your life is awesome. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's crazy how you evolved to something so big, right? So that's it's really awesome. Um, why don't you tell the audience what that show is all about, ET Canada? What do you guys try to do that's kind of different than uh, other um, stations like that? Yeah, so I mean, we're giving you guys the entertainment news of the day. Now, the interesting thing about the, the era we live in now, because ET Canada is, this is its 16th season. So it's okay. been around for a while and it started when it, everything was still like linear TV, right? Like you would sit down, you would turn on the TV and you would just watch at that time. Now you get your information any time of the day. And a lot of people get all their information from all sorts of different sources. Yeah. But what we're really good at with our team is not only putting together the show day to day and making it feel fresh and making, hopefully making it be an entertaining show in and of itself, 
mm-hmm. for the audience, but also our digital side is super strong. So I've been in scenarios where I've been uh, in an Uber in Los Angeles and mm-hmm. talking about my work and the driver will be like, oh, ET Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are on my, uh, on my subscription. Cause I, yeah. you guys get the, like, I like the news you, you guys give and I like how you do it. And so what's cool is that we're able to actually have a global audience as well as our dedicated TV audience here in Canada. So it's, it's a neat position to be in. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, cause you know, the way I, I've seen some of your interviews and, uh, I guess in a way, like when I, when I watch you, that's kind of like the way I'm trying to be, right? Very genuine. Like you're just a very genuine guy trying to have a normal conversation with people, right? And I think that's most yeah. important. You know, you're obviously talking about important news, but um, you're really getting down to the bottom of what their passions are to who they are as people. And I think that that's what brings the best out of people. That's the most important thing when you do interviews, I think, right? Which is something that um, when I talked to other podcasters or other interviewers, they, they told me the same thing. They were just like, oh yeah, like, some of them will say, oh, I try to keep it very professional. I ask my questions and that's it. Sometimes that, that's very good. Um, but I, I, I tried that at first, just asking questions and then that's it, right? Because I'll be honest, you're my second guest I had on here doing video. I used to do it just all audio before this. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's a different experience for me, but I, I do feel it's more personal. You know, it's uh, instead of just reading questions and that's it, it's more just getting to know somebody.